Hi everyone, welcome to Sydney Kids Online Final Showcase Watch Party. I am Laila, the Vice President of Kaki Sydney, and I am here to congratulate all of you children who have completed the 8 weeks program with Teacher Fairy Sulaiman. Yeah! I would like also to give a special shout out to the parents who we know have been super supportive and attentive from the very first session up to the final personal consultation. So all of this would not be possible without you parents. We see you and we thank you. The Kakisani team have been enjoying themselves so much with the children and with Fairuz. And we cannot wait to share with the entire world what these children have worked on for their Wayang story. So without further ado, let's begin. New York and Japan has always been in good condition in the presence of the orb. Hello, I'm Erika, the Orb Guardian. I will make sure all the city in the world live in peaceful and come every day. One day, Erika fell asleep while guarding the orb. Hawk the villain took the chance and steal it. Ha ha ha! Finally, I got the chance. It's mine! Ha 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 ha! Sayonara, Erika! Hawk brought the art to his hidden cave. Nobody's gonna catch me. They will never find my hide place. Impossible! Ha ha ha! Erika was so worried and she cannot find it by herself. She called her friend Martin, who lives in New York and asked for his help. Martin, Martin, my friend. I need your help to catch Hawk and get the orb back. We need to restore it to its original place. Sure, Erika, I will help you. Hee hee hee. Martin did strike Hawk with his super fast ticklish skills. With Erika took the orb from Hawk hideout. Hawk! See, I can fly so fast with my tails. See, see. Wow, Martin, you are great. I'm fascinated and busy too. Ah! They succeed and restore the art to its place, and their city is back to calm and peaceful place. The end. Sparkly and Draggy are going to the beach. And Sparkly say to Draggy, she want an ice cream. Draggy, I want an ice cream. Okay, then let's go have some ice cream. Let's go! Hi, ice cream man. Can I have some ice cream, please? Okay. Ew, ew. Ah, help me! There's an ice cream attacking me. Oh no! Ah! 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 Help me, Jackie! Help me! What happened? There's an ice cream attacking me. Help me, Jackie! Help! Don't worry. I'll use my fire axe to knock them. Thank 
sticky or draggy buttons. Still sticky. Don't worry, I'll go take some water. Hi, Screen Man, can I have some water? Sure. There you go. Thank you, bye. Here you go, Sparkly. Thank you, Taggy. But it's wet. Don't worry, I'll dry it. Thank you, Taggy. Let's go to a campfire. Thanks, Draggy, for taking me to the campfire and for saving me. No problem. Sparkly, I hope you are having fun. My name is Shari. I am 12 years old and I am going to present a show, a wine coolie show. So enjoy, sit back and relax and enjoy this. <clears throat> Hello, this is a story about a young dragon making havoc after a disbelief act. It was There was once a dragon lived among the clouds. It lived in a cloud that cannot be seen by the naked eye. Its parents and friends never, never cared about him. So then, after a few years had passed, the dragon's parents had been killed by the villagers. Out of anger, the villagers made havoc across the desert. He, the dragon then found a big village, which is what he was looking for. Hey, is that a dragon? Hmm, maybe it's just a dragon festival. But how is it capable to fly? Like, there's no strings above it or anything. Hmm, maybe we should tell the village about this. I think we should say warn them because it's getting near. Yeah, we should warn them and fast. So then, the two villages warned the village. And they all, and they all fled under, into an underground basement. No one inside of this village. Isn't this village supposed to be populated with humans? Ah, whatever. I will destroy everything they create. The dragon then proceeds to destroy every house he could find. But shortly after then, he heard a noise. And then he realized. He was doomed. Uh, uh, who dared to wake me from my nap? Who are you? 
I, I am your worst nightmare. Uh, so you're me inside of a small dark room. Uh, that's not what I meant. So then they both fought each other until both of them were badly wounded. Ah, ah, you finished it all. No, how could you? You, you, you're so too strong. Ah, face, face my wrath. Ah, ah. Yeah, survive this. Ow, you bite me. Ah, you're pretty tough, kid. No one survived my venomous bite. Uh, venomous? Eh, you already survived it anyways. Supposedly, my enemies will die about now. So yeah, you're a pretty tough kid. Oh, thanks. No one complimented me before. <laughs> I guess no one... I guess you don't have parents then. Yeah. In the end, they both have mutual understanding and decided to live happily ever after. So yeah, that was the whole story. It may be short, but uh, yeah. The end. Thank you for watching and listening. The Legend of Samudra Once upon a time, there is the big scary monster. Roar! Roar! It was called Samudra. Hey you! I'm not scary, you're a monster. Why are you trying to ruin my reputation? Go, 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 go. You know what? Let me tell the story. You don't know anything that has happened. Hi, my name is Samudra, or for short, Rara. My name, Samudra, means the ocean. Where I came from. You see, my story begins when my village was attacked. I had to leave, seeing that it was not safe. It was a dark and stormy night when I left. I came across the land and found a beautiful forest. Wow, this forest looks so nice. I shall take a rest. Yeah. I then look up to birds chirping and insects humming. <sighs> I think I shall make this to my new home. <sighs> so nice here. Hey, you! Who are you? Oh, um, I'm Samudura. Samudura? Never heard of it. What are you anyways? Oh, I'm a sea creature. I came from the sea. Then what are you doing here? It's the land. We don't need any more weird creatures. Go away. Are uh, you talking about weird creatures like you? No. I was devastated. I went to a nearby cave and hid. Thank you.
scared of you. She didn't even hurt you or try to. Plus, you guys look scarier than her. Oh, you're, you're right, you did look pretty scary. You know what? Let's just all become friends. Why are we so mean to each other? Well, it's just that we thought you looked very scary. But I don't. You're right. Let's all be friends now. Yeah? Now, do you know the moral? What's the moral? It's to never judge a book by its cover. Oh, I see. Well, let's just look behind this and party! Dun, 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 dun. Stop! The end. Hi, my name is Orchid. I'm seven years old. This is a story about two friends and the name of the story is The Adventure at Candyland. So let's start. Let's build a sand castle flowers. Okay. Yeah, we're done. Now let's go eat a snack. Let me go find one. Found one. Here it is. Thank you. Mmm, that was yummy. Mm -hmm. Help us, please. Help us, please. Help us, please. Oh, I hear some friends. Our friends shouting. Maybe they got captured by the evil monster. Let's go fly. Here's the monster laying on the ground. Let's fight him. Okay, after that, we're gonna save our friends. Let's fight him first. Oi! Wake up, bangon! Two minutes later. Yeah. <laughs> we are here to save our friends. You kind of beat me because I'm the powerful villain in the world. Yeah, but we got the powerful strength in the world. Fight, fight! Fight! Bite, bite! Oh, how did you do that? Fluffers, where are you? I'm here. I was collecting some candies. Okay, so now let's go save our friends. Okay! Thank you. Can you bite it? I mean, lick it. Done. Oh, yeah, you melted all the cages. Let me save. Unlock, unlock. Ah, there you are, bunny. Hi. Thank you for saving us. Thank you so much. Okay, one welcome. So now, let's clean the um the candy all altogether let's clean up okay clean 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 you have to help too okay clean 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 then it's all clean now we can go back home let's fly back fluffers okay wait wait there first wait guys wait yes what do you want bunny I want to thank you for some candies. Let me take the candy. Here's the candies. Thank you so much. Another one for you, Fluffers. Here you go, Fluffers. Thank you. Thank you. And bye. You can go home now. Bye. Bye. Mmm, yummy. This candy is so yummy. Mm, now let's go back home. The end. Hi everyone, I'm The Hut and I'm 11. This is my white gullet performance. The attack. On. The quad season. Island. 
Once upon a time, there lived a magical fire horse named Pyro. Um, Pyro was magical because his mane and his tail were made of fire. He had fire power like this. Um, but Pyro didn't like the fact that every time his mane and his tail got wet, they would burn out. And his dream was to find a never-ending flame so that he could light his mane and tail with it and they would never ever burn out. One day, Pyro was watching TV. The reporter said, Breaking news on the magnificent Quatsisen Island. A gigantic monster plant is attacking everyone. It is said to eat anything and everything that crosses its path. It even devoured poor Miss Dumper, who's the leader of the summer part of the island. This morning, Miss Style, Mystical, and Misty announced that anyone who can get rid of this beast will be rewarded with a wondrous prize. But beware, it's not as easy as it looks. It's me, the monster. <laughs> Why are you destroying our house? I have to destroy them so I have space on this island to live. <sighs> oh no, that monster looked really strong. I wonder if I can fight it. I hope so. Maybe I'd better go home. No, I think I'm going to fight it. If it's too hard, then I'll just go home. Hey, plant monster! Who? Who, me? Yes, you. If you don't stop hurting people, I'm going to kick you. Kick me? If you kick me, it won't hurt because I'm so strong. But go on. Try it. I'm sure it won't do anything at all. Oh, okay. Hey! <laughs> Ooh, it's so cold here in the winter part of the island. Ooh, I feel so tired after fighting the monster. I should go and rest somewhere. Hmm, where should I go? Hey, is that a cave? Maybe I can go and um, rest there. Might be safer. There are no monsters. Ooh, it's so nice and safe in this cave, away from that scary monster. Maybe it's just my imagination. <gasps> there it is again! What could it be? I better hide at the back here. <sighs> what are you doing in my cave? Oh, oh, I I'm just Pyro. Um, I'm just trying to rest in here. Um, and hide from that huge monster. Oh, it's okay. I thought you were coming to eat me. I'm frosty. I, this is my cave. Were you, did you fight that monster? Yes, I did, but I didn't get to defeat it. It's so strong. I'm going to go fight it again, though. Do you want to help me? Okay, sure. But I won't be able to do my best. I can probably bite it. Bite it? That won't do much. I mean, everyone has to do their best to fight that huge monster because it's so strong. Well, I have ice powers, but ice powers? That sounds awesome. Why don't you use that? I don't like my ice powers because...
A long time ago, I used to be the fastest rider in the frozen forest. I would take people from place to place. It was so fun. But then, people kept complaining that, my, that the ice in my fur would poke them. And then, I had no customers left. And from then on, I retreated and I stayed in this cave the rest of my life, and I vowed never to use my ice powers again. It's always been my dream to be the fastest again, but if I don't have any customers, I can't. Oh, that's a sad story. Well, maybe your bite might help. Do you have sharp teeth? Yes. Well, um, if it doesn't work, well, maybe you can try using your ice, if you don't mind. And I have fire powers too, but I don't like the fact that they have such a common weakness, which is water. That sounds cool. No, it isn't. Okay, let's go fight it. Okay. Um, hello? Who are you? Uh, I I'm Frosty, and I'm here to tell you to stop destroying this island. It belongs to the people who live here, and you're ruining their homes. And if you don't stop, I'm going to fight you. Fight me? That will just feel like a tooth. No, it won't. Hey! Take that! That monster is so mean! Yeah, it's destroying everyone's homes! If we don't stop it, it's going to destroy the entire island! I agree, we've got no choice but to use our secret superpowers on it. If we combine them, and use them at the same time, it might be stronger. I hope so. Let's go. Hey, you! You're back again. And you brought your friend with you. Um, I recognize you. You tried to fight me this morning, didn't you? What did you bring this time? I brought this! Power of fire! Ah! Oh, oh, it's burning me! Oh, stop, stop! Oh, oh! And I brought this! Oh, oh, ice in my eyes. Oh, get it out. Help me. I don't have hands. Stop, stop. Do you promise to leave everyone alone? Yes, yes, I'll stop. I'll go to Penang or somewhere else. I won't come here again. Help me. Okay, fire, burn the ice. Oh, the ice is gone. Go away, fire. Leave him alone. Oh. I'll go away. Goodbye. Yay! We did it! Yay! Head bump. Now I can celebrate and everyone is free! Yay! Hello, Pyro and Frosty. Hello, I'm Mystical, one of the leaders of the island. I'm Mistyle. And I'm Misty. Thank you for saving us from that terrifying monster. Um, 
what, what can we do to repay you? Um, do you know how I can stop my passengers from being poked by the ice in my fur? Yes, we do. Um, here, take this saddle. It will block the ice and, you won't, and no one will get poked anymore. Wow, it's perfect! Thank you! And, and do you know how I can um, keep my mane and my tail burning? Yes! Take this book called All About Fire. about fire. Chapter 1. How to light a fire. <gasps> this is perfect! Now every time my main and tail go out, I can just use this. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you for saving us. Bye. to relax in this, to relax peacefully. Huh? Who's there? Show yourself. Dirty Jingle, can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Good. Dirty Jingle, you are chosen to be hero. You go on a quest to seek treasure. Treasure? Yes, a magical treasure that all wizards desire. Wizards? I'm not a wizard. I know, you won't be keeping the treasure. You'll give it to others who need it. Aw, so what's the point of me going on this useless quest? This journey would benefit you and you'll make a new friend. Cool, alright, what's the details? You have to retrieve a magical treasure for me from Dragon Alley, a place with magical shops. Ooh, magic. Sorry, go on. Your guide will be Busy Bumblebee. You'll have to answer. Who's Busy Bumblebee? You keep on interrupting me. Anyways, you'll have to answer questions during the mission. Lay the treasure on your sofa or bed when you return. What if I mess up? Do not worry. Wait, what? Bum, 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 bum. Let me in, let me in. That must be my guide. I'm coming. I'm your guide, Busy Bumblebee. Let's get to our destination. Dragon Alley at once. Use my rocket booster pack while you can use your wings to fly there. We need to go to a shop called Wands of Magic. Let's go. Dragon Alley, it's fantastic. Yup, we've reached. There's the shop. Let's enter the shop. Hello, who are you and why have you come? We are Dirty Jingle and Biz Buzzy Bumblebee. We are on a quest to complete. 
I've been expecting you. Follow us. What is the most powerful one? Which one is the most expensive? Find the answers and you get what you want. The wizard gestures to a treasure chest. Let's get answers from books in the library over there. In the library. Dogs and bees in your shoe. Dirty Jingle goes close to the library and stands in makes a thing. Ah! Yes, that solved the problem. Ha ha! Dirty Jingle and Buzzy Bumble. We search books after books to find answers to the wizard questions. They ask which one is the most powerful. I found the answer. It's the Charms Twenty One. The most expensive one is one five thousand two hundred thirty-eight. Let's go back. They go back to the shop. Charms twenty is the most powerful one. One five thousand three hundred and thirty-eight is the most expensive one. It's ten thousand ringgit. Correct. Behold, the yellowest one. Wow! Show us its powers. It can fly, and levitate. Cool tanks. The teacher got Buzzy Bumblebee fly back to Japan. Haha, <laughs> the quest was fun and brilliant. That voice was right. This quest does benefit us. I've become more adventurous, and you've become more intelligent. At night, when the stars come out and night falls. Dirty Dingo lays the wand on his bed and goes to sleep at night. Thanks, Dirty Dingo. Adios, amigos. The end. Thank you for watching my performance. The end. Hope you liked it. Go to IKEA because the furniture are neat and nice. Hi, my name is Juni Park, and I like to go to IKEA because it's my happy place. Wow, this nasi lemak is so good. I'm so full, but I feel like I want to go window shopping at IKEA. Would you like to join after this lunch, Juni Park? Yes, that's a good idea. Let's go to IKEA after this. Let's go. Okay. When Django and Junipark entered the IKEA, suddenly there was a bad man watching them. He 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 he. He wanted to capture one of them to sell their organs. He 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 he. Junipark, look, there's a cage. Look, it's so cool. La 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 la. Junipark, help, help, Junipark, help. help. Oh no, what happened? There's a cage falling down on me. Help, Junipark, find a key for me. Help, I think it's on the cloud. I'll go find it.
Oh, look. There's the key on top of the cloud. Let me take it. Django, I have the key with me. Let me open the cage for you. Okay. Thanks, Jennifer. You're welcome. Next time, don't go far away from me. And stay together with me. Promise? Promise. Okay, then let's go home. The idea. The end. Assalamualaikum. My name is Bella. I am 12 years old. I have a story to tell. What if Legoland come alive at night? Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Akita. I'm waving my wings. <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm just waiting for everyone else to get back. Oh. Have you got the tickets? No. I'm trying to find it here flying. Can we go in? Not yet. Okay. So wait for you. <laughs> Fluffy! Yes, Akita! I've been flapping my wings since morning. Can we go in now? Yes! Have you got the tickets? Yes! Where did you get the money to get the tickets? I stole it somewhere! You stole it from somewhere? Yes! Let's go in. It's you. Yeah, it's me. What is this building here? I've seen it before, but I can't remember it. It's KLCC. KL what? KLCC. CC means what? Convention Center, I think. Not City Center? No. Are you sure? I'm not sure. This building is weird. Wait, there's two of it. Uh, you don't know? I don't know. Because it's called the Twin Tower. <laughs> Fly over it. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> oh my god! Something fell from the building. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh god. my head is stuck in the building. Oh my god! Somebody help me! Where's the guards who's working here? Oh my god! Oh my god! Something's happening! Oh my god! My wings! Oh! Can you save the building? Please save the building! Save the building! I don't know. Maybe I need a cup of water. But I think the building is pretty damaged. Oh no. What do you call it again? KLCC. Not the Twin Towers? It's the same thing. Why is it one now? I, I don't know. It's like a piece of rubble. <laughs> okay. So what do we do now? We fix it. Maybe. Or maybe we just should let it like that. My god, I'm so scared now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm crying. Can you see tears coming out of my eyes? Fluffy. Yes. Why are you quiet? I'm so scared. It's okay, we can just run. Let's go. <laughs> hey, you two. What yeah. are you doing here? In Legoland? At night. We were just playing. Uh, playing? Yes. Who did this to the KLCC thing? Um, we accidentally did it. We? Not your friend with the flurry wings thingy? Yeah, I did it. <laughs> Is there anything wrong, old man? There's a myth that if the animals get to play at night but somebody somehow damage it in the morning the humans will come and call the pesticide and we all be dead <laughs> oh no oh no what have we done here so old man what do we have to do to fix this? 
<laughs> you call me old man? Yeah, I'm old. Well, there's a way to solve this. Mm, let me think. Ah, oh, yeah, I, now I got it. Hey, old man, what are you holding? Mm, it's a book. I'll find this in his book. So there's a guideline for all the animals here uh, when you guys do a mistake. So can you read me the title of the book? It's... Uh... How do I know? I can't read. Fluffy, can you help me here? It's... Um... He... How? To... Build... A... Lego KLCC? KLCC? I thought it was the Twin Towers. Is it correct? Mm, well, if you ask me as an old man, it's the same thing. I'm like tired of holding this big book. Can you guys take the book now? <laughs> I have wings. I'm gonna fly away. Fluffy, you do that. Okay. Okay, I'll take the book. <laughs> Akita, can you help me? Help you what? Help me read this book. You can't read? You sure you can't read? I can, but slowly. I can't read too. <laughs> so what do we do now? I think we should get the phone that I stole for watching Netflix. And you stole the phone to watch Netflix? Yes. Oh my god. So what do we do with the phone? We can search how to build a Lego KLCC at YouTube. Okay, that sounds like a plan, but how do we go there? Fluffy? Yes, Akita? Let me fly you there. Okay. We don't have any more time. Okay, let me ride you. Alright. Okay, let me fly you. Oh, wee! That was a fun ride! Yeah, see the wings. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy. Yes, Akita? Are you forgetting something? Forgetting what? You said you're gonna get a phone. A phone? Yes. For what? You said you wanted to watch the Netflix thing, how to build the KLCC. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, but I, I forgot where I put my phone. Is there anything you can do to boost your memory or your powers or something? Of course, jump foot. Mmm, that sounds yummy. Are you joking? I'm not joking. This is a lot of junk food. Yes. I'm gonna munch all of them. Are you sure? Yes. You're gonna get fat or something? I'm not gonna get fat. Yeah, I forgot. I think the important part is for you to get your memory back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's eat. Munch, 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 munch. Ah. Now I remember where I put the phone. It's... Where did you put the phone, Fluffy? The hole in the tree. Which tree? That tree. Oh, I saw the phone. Take the phone. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. Fluffy. Akita. Do you know how to build the KLCC now? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. Fluffy? Yes, Akita. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tang 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 tang. Oh, this is hard work. Yes. But it will be worth it because I don't want to die yet. No, I don't want to die too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fluffy? Akita, it's finally done. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Oh man, did we finish it on time? Mmm, um, it looks good. Almost new actually. 
good duck picks. I think you saved the day again. No pest control for tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> we're not gonna die! Yeah, Fluffy, you did it. No, you did we did it, Fluffy. No, we did this together. Uh, yes. Together we did it. Teamwork. Mm. High five! High five! <laughs> Where's the moon going? Oh my god! It's daylight again! Let's get back home! Let's go! Oh! I forgot! The end!